Hi guys, and welcome to another book review. For those of you who are new, my name is Christine. I apologize if you're seeing the little lights. I do have a light on because it's just dark. Um, and I want to make sure we're not going to be messing with, <laughs> with it going dim and then bright and then dim and then bright. So it's the end of the day. Anyway, I'm already gotten ready for bed. So you will have seen this. Oh, it's just like so let's go ahead and get into it. This one is for Fox Trot, um, no, Fox Trotus Maximus. Um, this is by Bill Amend. I've reviewed a couple of these ones. I have two more collections of these um, comics to read, and so I'm looking forward to this one. This one was only 191 pages, published by Andrews McMill Publishing. Um, looks like this particular collection was published in... Um, I do know that it's mentioned like 2001 in this book. Oh, this one was particularly published in 2004. So, like I've said before, you're following the Fox family. Um, it's just a collection of comic series, so there's not really a plot line. There's not character development. It's just a collection of the comics that were in the Sunday Funnies a while ago. So, um, but this one I wanted to give you a little bit more information than just that. So you have Andy, who is the mother. You have Roger, who is the dad. You have Peter, who is the eldest um, fox child. Paige is the middle um, and the only girl. What are you freaking out over there, Ophie? She just jumped. Um, and then you have Jason, who is actually the one in this statue, who is the little one. And he is 10 years old. So in this one, um, there's a couple of things I just was like, I have got to mention these. Just a couple more things struck out. And the reason why I know this one wasn't really based in the 90s is because if you see this one, you can see the computer is in the shape of an apple. And it was still the big one, but it's not obviously the big box, but it's like the original Apple computer that, had, that you could get the color background. Um, and there are some, most of these are black and white, but there's a few that are in color. And there's a few in here that are in color that actually shows the color of the computer. Um, and I thought that was pretty cool because I do remember you being able to select that. And that's one of the things that I always wanted one of those big Apple computers for. So I could choose whatever color I wanted, but those were just way too, too pricey. Um, I'm trying to find one of them so you can kind of see what the color was. It was pretty cool. Um, it was, it's like a gradient of orange. Here you go, green and orange. So this one's the colored one, and you can see right there, um, it's kind of a gradient, green to orange. So that was pretty cool. Um, so in this particular one, <laughs> you have just being a teenager, you know, I mean, because it follows mostly the kids. Um, like there's this one where Paige, Paige loves to shop. And so there's this one strip where she's shopping and she's like, oh, I could buy this outfit. Her mom's like, yeah, that's cute. The next outfit is cute. And then Paige finds one is like, oh, I could buy this one. And then her mom kind of freaks out. And of course, that's the outfit that she goes with. And she's like, that was helpful because she doesn't want her mom to think she's cute. Paige wants to be sexy. Um, she is a freshman in high school. And I think Peter is a junior. Um, you have just normal sibling stuff. Um, pranks that they play on each other. Uh, let's see. You know, kids when they hardly do their chores and parents are like, it's a miracle. Um, one thing about this that's recurring is the mother um, is very much wanting to keep her family healthy and so she will fix stuff like instead of meatloaf, it's a beet loaf. Um, just very much veggie heavy and of course these kids are like no they want actual fat <laughs> you know uh, they want a regular turkey not some which that's the one time that Andy is like you know they'll do whatever um, you have kids that you know it's like oh their parents are still showing affection there's the parents cuddling up with the book and then it's it's like the two brothers are now we can take the advantage of this situation and play a game that we'll get in trouble with playing. Um, <laughs> you have pranks. Um, I'll get to this one prank. Because 
<laughs> well, let's do this prank first. So one of the things, in, like in this particular strip, um, he's Peter is calling his girlfriends like, oh, we can have a full-blown makeout session. My mom thinks this or that. And so he's just going over the spiel. And he's like, how do you, how does that sound? And then his mom comes on, on and it's like, not so good. So someone switched his contacts. Um, you have this one where he needs this haircut. And this is a longer one, so he needs a haircut. Um, he goes to a salon. They're all booked. They have this newbie who used to be a model. Um, and because she's so new, she gave him, like, a really bad haircut. And he doesn't care. He's like, it's the best haircut ever. You know, because he had a sexy model cutting his hair. Um, there are parts where Jason plays with his friend Marcus. His, uh, Marcus is a black character and is the only black character out of this whole series. Um, and, you know, just to see Jason and Marcus just doing stuff to torment his older sister and just doing fun kids stuff. They, both of them are big into science and so they do a lot of science experiments. Um, like trying to, like there's this one where Jason puts salt in a rocket and wants to send the um, rocket into the sky to seed the clouds for rain. When all the mom wanted him to do is just feed, or not feed, wanted him to water the lawn. Um, you have school stuff, you have sports, so dodgeball, um, things like that. The kids wanting to nap. Um, there's an exaggeration, like, for this one that is, Paige is looking for a particular fortune out of a fortune cookie. And then she finds the one, and she's evidently eaten too much, and so she's a lot bigger. It's, it's an exaggeration. Um, to show that and you know it just goes throughout the whole year you know you have Christmas or winter stuff you have fall stuff um, Roger is obsessed with golf um, you have Eastern here and how kids can throw a fit when they don't get their way there's this one part in this where Paige has written letters to this boy band that she likes in this particular world called back sync so instead of back street or end sync it's just a combination of the two um, and they send her a signed photograph and of course she's obsessing over it um, and then the whole guilt trip because it gets injured and you know or it gets injured it gets damaged and um, then it's the guilt trip for the person that was supposed to be watching it um, and how that just kind of goes on so it's just a bunch of little stuff and and I mean can you learn stuff from this I would say don't go in expecting to learn anything because it's just for fun. Um, there is stuff that people would definitely call like, um, I, like the whole thing with the exaggeration of Paige's weight when she eats too many of the cookies, you know, people are going to say that's fat phobic, you know, but how else in a comic series is, are they going, and this is just my legitimate question, how else in a comic series are they supposed to show when someone has overeaten way too much? other than being sick, but sometimes when you eat too much, you don't get sick, you just gain gain weight, you know? And of course, so they're going to do a whole exaggeration. Um, so, I don't know. It's This was fun. There's a nod to X-Men, because the X-Men movie's going to come out, and then Jason, of course, wants to dress up for the movies, and so he's going to go as um, Xavier, Wolverine, Cyclops, and who's the other one with the tail? Uh, Nightcrawler. Nightcrawler's tail. So it just kind of combines them all. And so it's just kind of fun. Um, you have Peter that wants to be in sports really bad, but he doesn't really make the cut. And so he's kind of like the bench warmer um, and things like that. And it's, I don't know, it's just, you have adult stuff in here too, because of, of course Roger has to do taxes. Um, there's this one where this scene in here where Andy gets sick, who again is the mother, and she takes a decongestion and it shows that how out of it a decongestion can make some people and how in some cases people once they know that you're out of it because of that decongestant can take advantage of you so i mean there's just i wouldn't say there's life lessons in this it's relatable as far as the situations the characters go in um, and deal with but that's it <laughs> you're not really learning anything it's just a good time um, is some of it dated I don't know. I don't, I mean, as far as like the technology goes with the, with the computer, there's one in here where, um, 
Peter is listening to a book on CD. You know, I mean, that stuff could be considered dated, but everything else, it's like it's real life situations that people deal with from generation to generation, you know, sibling rivalry, difficulties with school, you know, being involved in a fandom um, and just enjoying that, you know, and things like that. So it's just, it's just a fun, fun, good time. I gave this five stars um, just because ugh, I just love it and it's very nostalgic for me. So I don't ever see myself um, giving Fox anything Foxtrot less than five stars. I just love it so much. So that'll be it for this particular review. Let me know if you've read the Foxtrot comic series by Bill Amend and if you like them or what your favorite comic series is. Um, I know there's a lot of other comic series out there and I wouldn't mind collecting others. Um, Foxtrot is just the one that I gravitated toward, I knew, toward the most. I know there was like a Garfield one. Um, I used to have a Garfield stuffed animal. There's, I know there was like a Kathy one. And this is like stuff from the late 90s <laughs> that I'm remembering. Um, I don't remember all of them. You know, it's because it's been so long, but Foxtrot, I really clung on to. I found it more relatable, and it's like, if I had a brother and sister, this I could see this happening. I could see, it's like, and then I would look at this too, you know, with my autism. Of course, not knowing I was autistic and realizing this, I would look at Paige Fox and be like, this is what a girl should be like, and she'd be obsessed with boys, she'd be, she'd be obsessed with makeup and fashion, but I just wasn't. And it's just not who I was, and I would berate myself and beat myself up for not being more like this character who I assumed was like most girls. So, I don't know. Anyway, just found that very interesting. So, that'll be it. Again, let me know if you've read Foxtrot or any other whatever your favorite comic series is, and we will just chat next time. So, until next time, stay true to yourself and enjoy a good book. And I'll talk to you later.